Welcome to this course. Today we're going to be discussing Start With Collaboration by Lois Sonstegard. Discover how to increase profit, win loyal customers, grow market share, and retain superstar employees through collaboration. Collaboration is the surprising solution to many business challenges. Successful serial entrepreneur Lois Onstegard reveals startling facts about the increase in profits, productivity, and innovation sparked by the right kind of collaboration. Discover how to solve complex problems and turn problems into profit. Business survival depends on collaboration. I like that. It's like a short quote, but I feel like that leads us into the discussion of what it means to collaborate, right? In her research, she's starting to find that it no longer is the job of just one person to create immense change and mm -hmm. to increase profits, right? It now requires, based on a, a, a myriad of reasons, for it to be a group effort that involves having different backgrounds, different skill levels, different educational mm -hmm. levels, different experiences, like all kinds of more new ideas that you can put together in a group setting to create the change that you want to see in a business, right? Or in a lot of different ways. Even companies themselves. Right. Like one company can't do everything themselves to be successful. You need the suppliers, the mm -hmm. producers, the marketers, the sellers, the buyers, yeah, the everyone. entire team. And I feel like that's actually, I don't know if in the past it was more talked about, but I feel like now a lot of companies are doing that. And she does explain that in the book, that more companies are starting to work with other companies mm -hmm. to help better everybody. It's not just one person anymore, right? My conversations and research led me to understand that collaboration is the secret to growing and scaling businesses, solving complex business challenges and addressing larger global issues. I discovered that a collaborative mindset is the first step on a proven path to success. Yeah, so that's going back to like what we were discussing, right? How it increases productivity, profitability, all those kinds of things. Having all those different skills, different companies, different people all rallying together. So the author's main focus is on the middle market firms. And she did bring up like COVID, like mm. everyone assumed that the large businesses are going to survive and that the small businesses are going to die off easy. But no, not really, because the small businesses, they're small. They're not stretched out like the large businesses are. For them, it's more easy to pivot to control the resources, right? Right. And the large businesses, yeah, they'll survive, but they're going to lose a lot of money, a lot of employees. They might right. have a lot of shutdowns. Yeah. So her main focus was in those middle tier firms. Good thing about this book is that she has a lot of statistics. And right. Research and facts from different like research entities and reports out there. 200,000 middle market firms operate in the U.S. One third of U.S. firms fall within the middle market. Ten trillion dollars was the combined revenue of these firms in 2021 and 48 million Americans are employed by middle market firms. So the author asks like, so I asked, so what do we do about it? And again, she shares a lot of good insightful information from doing our research. I received a common response collaborate. I learned leaders recognize they cannot keep up with the pace of change without collaboration. Businesses that do not collaborate with other organizations to drive innovation and growth will be left behind by those that do. Yeah, I feel like you always hear that. It doesn't matter what type of work you do, right? It's always good to have like a team, like teamwork, have that communication open and take everybody's ideas into account. Whatever can help better that business, that team, whatever it is you're doing. It doesn't matter if it's a retail or a healthcare setting. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and collaborations, because a lot of times when companies need like a guy produce cereal and you make the cardboard boxes, right? Yeah. So usually you would think about like that's what you could provide, but no, like you talk to each other and you say, you make cardboard boxes. Can you also make maybe smaller boxes or, or, or different the... materials or diff or something? Yeah, something mm -hmm. that's different. Yeah. But that they could still provide. Instead of just seeing them as a, as a supplier of one thing, right. you know, work with them, share. Like we could also, aside from cereal, we also make this. Can you develop something? And you never us? know. Maybe they came out, like you said, with something that was cheaper. A lot of good benefits. And that just starts with 
collaboration. Yeah, and this book goes over also benefits of collaborating, the costs of not collaborating, mm -hmm. even like the components of successful collaboration. So the author really breaks it down for you. My research confirmed for me that collaboration offers a way to maximize human potential by pooling resources, collective knowledge, and diverse skills to drive inspiration, innovation, and ingenuity. To solve our big problems, we need to change behaviors in a big way. People always resist change. The best way to conquer resistance is by getting people involved and making them feel like they are part of a meaningful movement. Yeah, and again, going back to like taking everybody's opinions into account, right? Take for real. Yeah, for real, <laughs> and actually yeah. applying things that would potentially work and help out. Yeah, because not too long ago, it was always like a lot of people quit of this too. Like we're making this big change in the corporation. You either go with it or find something else. It could be like a big technological push or a change in the way they did things. Yeah. Which a lot of people were kind of, if not caught off guard, like they weren't ready to adapt or they were like, and the book mentions it too, the author, that whole mindset, if it's not broke, why fix it? Right. Right. I hope a lot of companies do this, but getting their people involved and getting them more involved in the decision making process. Like, hey, we're thinking about making this big change in the company, but we want to hear from you guys out on the floor. Like what you think of that yeah. change. I feel like maybe some companies who don't actually want to collaborate, especially with like employees who actually are the ones that help with the business. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe they don't want to give that type of power up. Maybe that's why collaboration is kind of like a scary thing or something they'd never even thought of because they're like, <laughs> I want to keep the power to to a selective few or just me, you know? Yeah, which is not a good mindset because when a company wins, it's everyone involved in the company, not just the CEO right. or the top, you know. Even if they do make a big change and they get all the credit, it might impact the employees down on the floor who are struggling overworked or whatever and they just bounce so yeah like we were mentioning the author has so you can tell there's so much research that she has done over the years and there are so many like you said statistics and examples she even has like is historical events and data right that prove her point of collaboration in the early years of the space age the idea of the united states and russia collaborating in new and exciting aerospace industry was unthinkable the two nations were highly competitive and did not particularly trust each other each country forged ahead with their own research the potential benefits of collaboration never crossing their minds it was over 20 years however before nasa took part in a joint mission with the Russians. The mission opened the door to future collaboration and ultimately one of the greatest science, technology, engineering, and mathematics collaborations of all time, the International Space Station. She didn't have to write any more after that, to be honest. <laughs> I'd have been like, message received, done. Like delivered, wow. received, I got you. Collaboration is key. Collaboration mm -hmm. is the way we will move forward in life in all aspects. It's crazy. It, it's just amazing. Even SpaceX was able to create something that connects to the International Space Station. Mm -hmm. And you could even track it up there, you know, on your phone, look outside. That's collaboration, right? And you can see even between... Very different mm -hmm. uh, countries and mindsets yeah. with a, one similar goal. See? A similar goal. That's it. Just having a similar goal. Yes. And just being able to open up and allow the collaborative process to work yep. for the success of that one similar goal. Which benefits the world. The whole world. Yeah. You let go of your personal ego. Right. Your individual, you know, we won. We were there first. Or <laughs> no, we won. Like, Because the author also mentions that. We have yeah. to lose that win-lose yes. mindset. Yes, right? 100%. I think yeah. that applies also politically, right? There's always a mm -hmm. winning side and a losing side. And yeah. it doesn't allow us to whoever won for change to happen, for things yeah. to happen that is collectively good for, for everyone, for everybody. Because yeah. they burn their bridges right. or it blocks them from getting any support or feedback from the other side. Exactly. The digital revolution made it easier to collaborate with more people from more locations in more ways than ever before. This is exciting, but it means that technology is a key component of effective collaboration. However, among the barriers to collaboration mentioned by respondents in the Deloitte study for Google, 
was inadequate technology. I feel like if they invest in technology and the new equipment that's out there, it helps so much with the collaborative process. So I, I, I never understand why yeah. people don't want to invest in new technology that can actually help them make mo more money in the long run. Thanks for hanging out with us guys and be sure to check out Start With Collaboration by Lois Sonstegard.